in true uh, sailing fashion. It's been doing this for the last um, five days. And it's just enough rain to piss you off. I call it 100% humidity. Every once in a while we'll get a good downpour, but this is what we have to do. Just to buff the black spots out of the side of the hull, we have to keep the hull dry or it burns the wax when the water hits the buffer. 5.30 on Thursday, July 1st, and we are headed for the Bahamas so that you guys can see what the abacos are like now, almost two years after the uh, hurricane. Looks like not a bad crossing, not going to have a lot of wind. Seas are about two feet, so let's do it. By the light of the night and the baby Yoda's Captain Grogu's, we are heading off to sea. I think everything is battened down, but we shall see. It's always something you forgot about that comes crashing down. But hopefully there is no crashing involved because I have heard that we have decent weather. We are following out the Pomonia sky, setting in our course, heading to West End, which we have a dock waiting for us, and customs officials, possibly tonight, probably tomorrow. nautical miles, is that what I just saw? Yeah. Alright. I have an ETA of 5.56 at the current speed. We shall see. Never a dull moment on the space between. Came in here to have some lunch right before we get smacked with that up there. Making some beloved craft macaroni and cheese to go with Publix vegetable sushi. <laughs> Actually, no, they don't go together at all, but good thing one of us is only eating each one. And now we are seem to be having uh, power problems. So his life. I am sure the captain will figure it out here shortly. And in the meantime, we are running the Jenny and cooking lunch. Well, it is 2.29. And uh, cut my head off. Who cares? Nobody's looking at you anyway. 2.49 and we are pulling in to Bahama Bay, West End. How this is done, it's been so long. We are pulling into Bahama Bay, and our fastest sail yet, Scott says. We left it pulled out of port at 6 a.m., and now it is by the time we get there, it'll be three. And uh, last what, two and a half, three hours have been fairly rolly, beam on, swell This current crazy world has made you want to sail away with us. Check out our website, sailtsb.com, for more info.
And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and bell. It doesn't cost you a dime. And at the pace we put out videos, it won't annoy you either. So we're here. They stuck us in front of this other catamaran. I think his bowsprit might be touching the dinghy. And we are hanging over the dock about six feet. But we're here. We're only staying the night. Goombay smashes are right there. So, and over there in the pool bar. However, I'm sure we have some cleaning up and some work to do and I'm not going out in my pajamas. So, well, this is hopeful to see. Since we pulled in here maybe 15 minutes ago, there has been at least six possibly eight other boats I've seen come in. Um, hopefully Scott beat him to customs or he'll be waiting a long time. That is a madhouse. There are 50 people in that little bitty shack. And, but, but no, um, but no. Not a single one of them had a mask on but me. But no uh, congregating, right? And then she threw them all out. For not having a mask on? And then they all just migrated right back in. <laughs> And then, we, I, so when she throws them all out, that bumps me to the front of the line. line. I had a mask, and she goes, oh, well, come here. And then she takes my, my thing, and she goes, wait a minute. You actually have a cruising permit. You actually did it. You did it right. And she holds the thing up. She goes, you see this? <laughs> this is what all y'all were supposed to do. If y'all had done this, it would have been like this. And she went click, click, and she handed it back to me. And she goes, go to immigrations now. I went over to immigrations. Of course, I hadn't filled out the stupid immigrations card because online it says that's all you got to do, but that ain't the case. You have to still fill out the immigrations card. Oh. So, if I didn't have COVID. You do now? We were, and there was at least, it wasn't 50, but there was 30 people in there. It never stopped once you left here. Like seven or 10 oh, more boats came in. in behind yeah. me. And then she kept running them out. And then a whole airplane came in. And they're like, and then the same lady yells, if you ain't the captain of the boat, get the hell out. There's too many people in here. And uh, that's she, funny. She's like, where's where's your mate? I said, she's on the boat where she belongs. And then she goes, good answer. <laughs> she, and she's like, and she talked to the guy next to me who's got six passports in his hand with six people in tow behind him. See, he came in. His crew's still on the boat. Are they coming to check the boat? She, she says, how long are you staying? And I said, probably the month of July. And she goes, okay, I'll, I'll give you 60 days. And then she's like... Um, Isn't the cru cruising permit good for 90? Yeah, cruising permit. I, I would just have to get it redone for huh. if we stayed more than 60, but we're not. So, And then the guy looked up right next to me and goes, 60 days? I, I mean, I'm like, no, we're only here a month. And he goes, oh, still, a month? I'm like... You're in a sport, I mean, you're in a sport fisher. Uh, he goes, yeah, I said, I'm in that catamaran over there. We can go for a month without even touching land. Cool beans, are you ready for a Goombe I slash? I'm sweating. And I, I got my bathing suit on, ready. I got no money. Well, I was praying they didn't. Need any? They did. What you got? Fresh, warm, still. I'm a bread. Ooh. Coconut. Oh. Makes the best bread I love. <laughs> oh, that's got cinnamon sugar and shit all over it. Just like cinnamon roll bread. I just ate a shit out of cayenne pepper popcorn. And Scott and I are sitting here playing chess. Pretty sure I'm getting my ass beat. What should I say? Deal. Oh wow. Yeah. Like right out of the oven. Right out of she the oven. She knew right where to come too. <laughs> she goes like, where's my money? Where's my money? Oh. <laughs> you ain't got the hope? Ain't nobody touched it. I'll take the hope. It is almost 11. I think we're planning on being out 
care about now. Waiting on tides coming up from low. I have been on the phone with Verizon all morning because my phone can make and receive calls and texts and that's it. There is no data, there is no network. Can't get emails, can't get work done, can't get weather. So, I don't know what happened, but phone doesn't work and Verizon doesn't know what happened. So now I've been on hold for 20 minutes. And we are heading over, I think we have a seven hour sale to Double Breasted, which will put us, we leave now, getting in there right before dark, but Scott's not even here, so I guess we're not leaving now. <laughs> we went gallivanting on the island, so we shall see. So we are on our way, Double Breasted. No wind, but beautiful weather. It's not the inverter. Oh. Inverter's going out because the wire is on fire. The wire that's on fire is twice the gauge of the wire of every, every other wire. Whatever, so we're going to cut it out. You're going to cut the wire out? Yeah, we're going to take it. I think it's one of these cheap Chinese fuse blocks that's going to be trouble. Uh, it's better now, but it was on fire earlier, and these were cold. I mean, just, and that's a thicker gauge wire, unless it's something to do with copper or tin. I don't know, but I'm going to find out what happens when I push the button. Here, hold on. Ooh, that is a little warm. bus the bottom of the bus bar moving to the top of the bus bar which is a direct contact with the battery cable coming off of the lithium-ion batteries. The problem is when I went from a 48 volt system down to a 24 volt system by lowering the voltage I raised the amperage which basically I needed thicker wires. That's your deduction? We are coming into double breasted. Yep. And it looks like one. One We're gonna try to anchor in the space between. Hey pusher, so we're gonna go in there and see what we can do. We've got some bad news. We are coming to double breasted to meet people that were on their way over for a crossing, but apparently there's some sort of and I'm just going to go on the record and say that the Weather Channel has never predicted the actual landfall of a hurricane four days out in its life. So, our whole entire uh, itinerary has gone to shit due to people in the, Drinking the states battening down the hatches due to the Weather Channel stuff. So anyway, we are now loose and fancy free. The only itinerary that we have to do is COVID test on Monday okay. morning. Other than that, we're free. So here we come upon the anchorage. We got on the inside in the space between so far. Yeah. Some in the water right there. What's going on? It's not letting me go down. Got it. Go downstairs and check the breakers, please. No, it's letting me go up. It won't let me go down. The reason it's not going down is because one of the relay wires had come loose. What's going on? What's wrong? The wires pulled out underneath by the relay down there. But where? Here? 
And while I go downstairs and see if I can't figure out what's going on with the relay, Holly gets to tread water in this tiny little space right here. If she goes too far one way, she's on the rocks. If she goes too far the other way, she's on the beach. Either way, it's a bad day. But she did a great job, and we had no issues. <laughs> So Scott and I pretty much have this anchoring thing down to a science. Priority number one, communication. Him having a camera looking at the anchor helps it immensely. I pay it out and wait for him to tell me when to snub it. The Magnum snubber has taken some fine tuning, but with the windlass locked as to not lose a finger and armed with pliers to grip the wet rubber piece, I attach it to the chain and let her ride till the captain says stop. <laughs> As he watches the chain counter, I watch him for his signal to stop. I then verify she's holding tight, give him the A-OK -okay sign, and after a few test pulls, we good. So the windlass shorted out, is that what the problem was? No, the uh, reverse lead, or the drop lead, got off when I was messing with installing the new lithium ion on um, BMS. Oh, my phone is running. And um, so I just had to get some glasses and a flashlight and dive in there and bring it back. Well, I attempted to tread water. No harm, no foul. Join us next time as we make another night maneuver to get out of an anchorage because we're not holding.